Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome to the predicament that we're in. Yeah, three hives over here, three hives over here, and what a mess. <laughs> I've been staring at this for a while. Let me tell you what I think I'm going to do, and we'll see if the game allows me to do that. David, I want to go open that door and then come and station himself right here. The idea being when we can get maybe two people, one there and one there, then I'll have him open the door, run through. This will be set. Well, he's going to run over here because I've got this set to hold open. So that when he does make open up this door and run through and get to here, he can flick the switch. This will start to fire. The two that are right here will lean in and start to fire through that doorway destroying everything in this entire area of course but at the same time i need to have somebody in position to do the same thing over here so that we can shoot each other yeah hopefully they won't go all the way through and hit each other out here i'm thinking they're all going to concentrate fire right here in the center but if the first one that runs through goes through and goes over to here and starts hitting it they're going to be shooting it. It's going to be shooting it. They're going to be shooting it. It's not a great situation, but it's the situation that we have. We've got a turret coming down over here. I want to say Eric is bringing that one. Eric or Bill. We've got another one dropping in over here to assist somehow. I'm still not sure exactly how. It's going to have to shoot through and destroy everything in this area trying to get through that opening. I guess it's waiting for this to be breached and the bugs are starting to run wild, in which case they will shoot them. Um, otherwise, over on this side, we've got the one over here and one going in over here. I have added conduit, at least blueprints, for this area to bring power in from where we have it existing to get a little bit further down, even into there. If we can do that and they haven't breached yet, then we'll move this guy to here or even maybe right there. And right there would be better. Yeah. If I can get it right here, then I can get a person standing in the door to hold it open, a person there, a person there, a person there. And maybe even there and there. I don't know if they'll lean in or not like they do on a wall. We'll see if they at least get some crossfire uh, line of sight. Then as long as there's a person standing here, they'll just keep shooting through and everything that piles in this area just keep getting, you know, taking shots until it gets to here. Hopefully, they'll start banging on the turret first. Well, I'll we'll have to pull that person out of the way, though, and that'll close the doors. Okay, but that will give us a quick window. We could then send somebody around and say, neener, neener, and then, you know, have them all run this way and then, you know, do it again. But the hard part is going to be, you know, as hard as if we had two colonies and two uh, battles going on simultaneously. We're going to take this frame by frame because i got to you know, set everything and, and move them and then see what changed over here and then move them all into a different and then go back and change everything over here and yeah, that's that's going to be a little tough but let's do a quick roll call to see what everybody is up to Gnarly, I asked to go and grab some steel and to start filling in the conduit right here so that we can move this down if we choose to Oath Knight, I've asked him most of them are, are either dog tired or he, most nice in good shape or they're starving you know meaning their food is way down and this is going to take a while last one that we had was here we did a lot of fighting in the jail area we did a lot of fighting up in this area and that battle lasted a long time these guys at least you know these big ones especially these are tanks they take a lot of damage before they go down so, yeah, there will be a lot of shots fired to make this happen. So, I need some food in them. I don't want, you know, break risk times 14 sitting over here. <laughs> the odds go up exponentially. <laughs> so, um, Oath Knight I, is in good shape. So, I've asked him to run through. This guy is triggered to hold open when he runs through it in a position himself right there just as David will be right there. So when we're ready, and when there isn't a bug right here at the door, they're both going to go in, step through, the door will hold itself open, they're going to run through and get to the switch. 
while these guys are already in place and possibly even shooting through the bugs that are following behind them. And same thing over here. We've got a big battle going on here. Hopefully by the time that's done, this guy is installed up and running and we can quickly move everybody out, lock these doors, and do the same thing from this end. And I think that'll be enough to finish this off. Oh, another part of the strategy, of course, and I've fine-tuned it a little bit in between episodes, was the what do I call it? The burn baby burn zone over here. <laughs> I did set all four boomalopes to head into here. We haven't had a chance to use boomalopes this way this series. Last series, uh, Alpha 13, we did. and or did, I don't think we've used the boomalopes this time. We've talked about it many times, but I don't think the opportunity ever worked. But last time when we did it, it took them forever ever to get there and they dawdled and they wandered and they did other things and so I said all four hoping at least two of them will make it in time before it's all over but that is set boomalops are set to go in there I've erased the other boom uh, zone over here we have to rebuild all that I've already pulled all the dogs and wild boars out of this area so there shouldn't be anybody wandering through. Right now, looking at names, we've got Anastasia and Divot and Anatoly and, and uh, Monk. Yeah, I'm seeing mostly Isabel, mostly dogs are down in here. And, and David. And uh, Gnarly, there's Oz. Monk, Bambino, there's Billy. He's over there. So let's go back to a roll call. That was Oath Knight. He's going to be waiting in, who would that have been? Uh, Eric's room, I think. So Daniel is up here and in decent shape well he needs food he does need food i gotta remember that once he's done i can't hold him down there or he's going to be tanking on me yeah but i need this moved so he's in charge of getting this thing into place and then i could just tell him to come straight up and get a meal let's do that from there and you're taking yours down into one of these okay so from there you're coming back up to here to grab a meal Okay, and then hopefully that works out right. Diamond was in good shape. She's one of the three or four that can actually go straight to the battle. So she's got her assault rifle, and rest is halfway, and she is Diamond. I lost your line. You are heading into into here, I thought. No, 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 I did re replan Diamond's uh, strategy. She, I decided, let's, where is the other one? I gotta think about this. Here? Yeah. I asked her, let's go ahead and do that. I asked her to pop over here and fill in, oh, what did I just do? Cancel that, kill that, and click Diamond. Okay. Ask her to come over and fill in the conduit already. Let's cancel that so you can add to your number 10 more or, or a few more steel. So work on that. So she, in fact, let me do it one more time just because it's now going to choose a second pile. And now I'll go back to the first pile in case that made a difference. But so she is going to fill in conduit over here. I don't know if it's going to get built in time. The working conduit in this area is all the way up there. Same as this one okay but I didn't know if we put this here if I'm gonna have the option to snag these when I click when I click on this guy when it's in place and hit the little extension cord to grab a new circuit it may go bang 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 and never let me have a live one it's possible that it will never snag up there so I need to make sure that I've got that option so she's gonna come down and build on the safe side of the of the wall and then she'll be here to jump into whatever's going on. And she did not need a meal. So George, you are grabbing a meal. Most of them are grabbing a meal. Let me zoom out a little bit. Billy, just out of bed, he needs a meal. Most of them are in that condition right now. So he's going to run up and then he's going to come back down and we'll figure out what to do with them. So even the melee, I decided for the most part I need to draft them at least. Get them down in the area. It may be that we'll get a, a unique situation where I can send five melee with clubs at something and take it down while you know in, in its own little area while everything else is happening in another area it might happen i don't know bliss bliss and radar are unique well we knew that but they are ready to go to sleep and they're about ready right now but not enough 
to actually go to bed. And I had to think, and you know, they're both assault rifles, and it'd be nice for those two to get a little more rest so that as things get crazy and everybody starts to break, I can send people away and bring radar and bliss back into the take their place. So I've set both of them to head over here and clean something. There's enough walking time to get past that line. So right, or Bliss will run over here, clean that, and then he'll go to bed. Radar, the same thing. You're going to come over and clean that, then you're going to go to bed. And both their beds are kind of in the danger zone, but I'm not going to shut these doors down. So they still can go to bed and uh, come back out and help out. Or, if needed, you can head in this way and do what they, what they want. Um, just thinking about boomalopes. What I don't want is the boomalope to get to this doorway, have a whole pile of, of bugs right here, attack it, and kill it right there. Which means I have to heat up and burn out all of this to do any good, which means it won't work. I need them within these confined uh, corridors here. I don't know how many of these walls are going to be gone, and we're going to end up having to burn out all four rooms. That's possible. If that happens, I don't know that I'm going to be able to put the fire out. You know, I got to thinking about this, and an image came to my mind while before the episode of an old, old episode of the original Battlestar Galactica. Uh, how many of you saw that series? When was that? Late 70s? Early 80s? And the, the Battlestar was on fire. And, you know, several decks were burning. They were running out of resources to put it out, and they finally decided what they needed to do was just open it up and, you know, evacuate the uh, all the air out to space and, and suffocate the fire. There's not much we can do here. It's not like I can open it up and, you know, vent it to the outside and get the heat out of there. This is going to be, you know, 500 degrees really quick, and we're going to burn out everything on this side of a wall, but everywhere we breach, that's going to continue to spread. And we're going to be 200 degrees out here and unable to get in. So this could be a, a major devastation. Fire is is uh, kind of dangerous to use for bug deterrence inside of a mountain. You can get quite an oven going on here, quite a furnace. But, and and really with the two, the three turrets and, and eight or ten guns shooting through it, we probably could handle this without the fire. But I wanted to show the boomalopes. The boomalope uh, bug strategy before this series is over, and we're uh, we're three quarters of the way through it, so we we need to need to be thinking about a way to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a try here, and then we'll send uh, Sangria off to go and tame a few more boomalopes and restock our herd. Um, how far did I get? We got to listen radar. So Cyprian, you are going for a meal, and then you're heading down to somewhere. Where am I? Radar and well up. Kind of the same thing? Yeah, going for a meal on this side of the base. Faith, you and Kaya are special. You two get to... Even though Faith doesn't fight, I have a feeling that she can wrangle this Psychic Insanity Lance. I'm hoping she can. I'm hoping this... Though it's a weapon that she's capable of... Wait a minute. Faith? Yeah, activate. So I, I can use her for warfare in that sense. So that works. Kaya just happened to be here. And she wasn't dying yet of starvation. So she gets to sit next to this guy in case we need to do something, you know, to control them a little bit while we're trying to get into position. That's kind of my thoughts. Once we let loose the, uh, you know, the waves of lead, that shouldn't be needed anymore because they're all going to trigger all at once and fire off into whoever is first. Unfortunately, that turret will be toast. And everybody standing next to it will. So at that point, I will unforbid and unforbid. And don't think... Well, I might unforbid here too. And get them all out to safety by whatever means is, is possible at that moment. And then re, re uh, you know, lock all the doors after that. But um, I don't know if I finished my sentence because I got to talk about the boomalopes. I don't want them all crowding through right here and dying right there with the door stuck open. So I've set it up, the forbidden doors, such that there is not a path to get into there in any way, no matter how you do this, unless you come through here, there, and up. It's the only path that exists. This is 
still sealed over here. So that will force the boom elopes to come in from this side over here. And if I have to, I'll move the boom elope zone up a little bit if they're all busy up in this area. And we'll see how that works. So that's why we don't want to name the boom elopes. Don't want to make a pet of those guys. They're fire. They're, they're bug insurance. Um, Faith and Kaya. Sea stars, what are you up to? You're bringing the other improvised turret from the freezer. You and Daniel just happen to be here. And you don't need a meal, right? Right. You're ready for the whole shebang. Though you are melee, unfortunately. And have no shooting skill at all. Okay, so I can't uh, swap you out. All right, so you are doing that. Go back to needs and Bill. You are needing a meal? Nope. You are bringing one of these two turrets over. You and Eric are, are in charge of those. Grandma needs a meal. David is doorkeeper. Oath Knight is doorkeeper. Eric, you're bringing the other turret. Alicia, what you up to? You were another one that didn't need to do anything. You can dive right into battle. So you're heading down here. We'll figure out exactly where you're going after that. Probably you're going right here, but I can't unforbid that yet until the boomalopes get here. Or at least until I figure all that out. i got to be sure to force their path to go where I want it to go. Or they're going to come in here and die. And I'd rather find some way to keep them contained in this hallway if that's even possible. You know, if I could still run in and close that door after they've lit. Close the door, take a bug bite, get out, and just battle the one that's in here and leave everybody else inside there, that would be great because the smaller the contained space the faster the heat's going to build up even without the wood here it should still build up as as the hives begin to burn and, and the you know, the bugs bodies begin to burn and whatever um, got to Alicia, Miss B needs a meal Michael needs a meal Natalia does not. So she's heading in here to see where she can help out. So her and Alicia are probably going to be one at each turret, for starters, until others get there. Gathrep needs a meal. Yep. Sangria did not. So she'll be number three heading into this area. That gives me three people so far. Plus Oath Knights. There's four people to run the two turrets. David will just have to get out of there. He's, he's melee. Uh, Klaus needed a meal, and Chantigo is about to grab his meal, otherwise he's in great shape. So he's going to be one of the two, three, no, out of the two, that'll be first in this area. He and Diamond. Uh, Daniel's bringing the, the gun down, but he's got to go up and get a meal. So just the two over here. Rabbit, you need a meal. Yep. And Handy and Tomislav both need meals. Okay, so that is the immediate plan. Now, shall we begin the uh, the frame by frame? <laughs> I don't know if this is a two episode. Uh, it's probably a two episode battle. It probably is realistically. So you are going to come through, pop this, and do that. These are going to all pop here real soon. Anything else to know before we do that? Anything I'm forgetting? Animals are put away. Um, everybody is. Is has their orders. Um, Shantigo, that's what I forgot. So I need you to grab that meal. So let's watch taking a meal go away while we're watching down over here. Okay, venison. So Shantigo, you need orders. Draft you. And is there anything you can do faster? Do you have construction? You kind of do. Could you take over Diamond's place? And is there any value to that? There probably isn't. If anything, taking over... Uh, Gnarly, no, Gnarly's even closer, though. Gnarly is... There. You're going to grab Steel and head over. Shantigo would have to grab Steel from here and head over. You're both even, so there's no point in redoing that. So you instead, I guess, just head to here... Chantigo draft. Go to here and be ready. We'll see what to do with you. I'm, I'm trying to decide whether I want to do one battle at a time. I don't know if that's reasonable or not. There's a lot of space for these guys to wander around in. And if we don't trigger them, 
they could sit here and just tap away and, and work on, you know, mining out stone the entire time and not even realize that there's people nearby. So these guys are not as much of a threat unless they immediately go through right here. In which case, let's shut that down. Let's shut that down. And until we're ready to go through, yeah, let's shut that down. Nobody comes into this area. They can come through here. The boomalopes can. They're going to come through here. Or they may even travel this path. What is the... They're rolling through here. They're going to cross the river way up here. They're going to enter the base either here or here. So, yeah, they're going to come down this one. They probably will come down this one and move over. So I don't want to shut that down. Okay. All right, so Shantigo's on his way. That's the last of them that were not um, drafted. I think it's just the four that are bringing the the uh, the turrets down and the two that are bringing steel for conduit as the only ones that aren't drafted now. So I need to pay attention to them. But these guys are going to pop. David's going to get that. There we, we began. David's going to get that door open and wait. Now, actually, you know what? They may detect them through the wall and start banging on it. David, you go up to here. That just feels better. Okay. We only got a few there, but I think more are coming. This, this kind of pops in phases. This one started with just the one. Now I see we've got another one, another one there. Oh, there, there. Okay. Is there any chance they're going to pop outside of the wall? I don't know. I mean, they're, they'll pop randomly within so many squares of. So I don't know how well the game is designed to know if it's contained within a room or not. Oh, there's a few more that came in. So far, so good. Yeah, there's a lot more showing up. What we got now? We've got two of you guys, six of you guys, and two of you. So, ten right now in this area. What's over in this area? Four of you, five of you. Where's the middle size? I don't see a middle size. Okay. Well, let's remind us run speeds here. You guys, Mega Spider 4.5. And you guys, Mega Scarabs 4.7. So, except for, I think, um, Handy and maybe Gnarly. I think it was one other person that was Jogger. I'm not sure now. I think one of the later ones had something like that. Except for one or two of them, that's faster than all of us. And you, the Spilopedes, are 4.3, which is probably more average to what most of us are. Okay. So they're most of them are faster than us. Let's keep it in perspective here. We don't want to have to outrun them. Of course, we don't have to really outrun them. We just have to outrun each other. <laughs> it's like... Escaping from a bear in the woods. You just you don't need to outrun the bear. You need to outrun your partner. But um, so they're there, and just let's just bring this in a little bit closer. You are wandering. You are wandering. Anybody picking through a wall is what I'm thinking. There's no tapping yet. Any tapping going on over here? You're the only worrisome one. Everybody else, you can eat away all you want in here. That's fine. Okay, so over here, we never did get any of the middle ones. So we've got a total of four and five. So we got nine over here and ten over here. Is that uh, our first wave? Two, two, six. Yep. Ten and... Yep. So we, we're, we know what our, what, our, uh, what our challenge is now. Um... Gnarly, where'd you end up? You're on your way. Diamond's in onto this one, but she's going to be a while. Oath Knight would probably... Now, Shantig will be the next one to show up. Where specifically should you go? I am really starting to debate this now. I think we can control this entirely with the Insanity Lance. For now. Let's get Shantigo out over here. Shantigo, go there instead. Let's get you to help out right there, which means I need Diamond to head that way too. I 
I'm drawing a blank on anything that we can do here that doesn't initiate a war. And speaking of initiating a war, yeah, once we shoot the first one, I have a feeling they're all going to alert and go after whoever it was. I don't know if that is map-wide or vicinity-wide. If we shoot this guy with that turret, will these guys all activate and start to start punching through the wall? In which case, do we have to have both battlefronts manned and ready at the same time? When we started this map, we had a hive over here, and we had <clears throat> a few bugs in it. When the hive finally died, they started wandering, and I didn't realize that, so I'm thinking, who are you? And there's, this, there's, a, there's a spielipede out there. And when we finally shot one, everything from the whole map, wherever they had scattered, all came in at us. So I'm really wondering if what happens to this one is going to be triggered over here in this one. So if that's the case, then... Arr, Shantigo, ignore that order and get back to there. Okay, I may have to really spread us thin until everybody gets their meals and gets into position. So, for now, watch for tappings in here. I've got to know if these guys are going through. Ah, you look like you're in a mission. I just heard a tap. I heard a tap, which means it's probably over here. Nobody's at our perimeter, though. Yep, you're taking out that one. That's fine. You do that all you want. And did you really do that much damage already? Or is that one already... I, have, I can't think of any reason why it would have already been damaged. You did that already. Wow, they go through this stuff fast. You are wandering. Any tapping going on in here? Nope. Minor break risk. There's the first of them. That's Daniel. He'll be fine. He'll go grab a meal afterward. You already went through. Wow. So I'm really going to have to pay attention. To both fronts. So we get a lot of frame by frame here. Three taps and they're through it. We've got to trigger and and stop them right then and there. Okay, <clears throat> so you're in place. I'm still waiting for one of my turrets to come down. Daniel's bringing his. Cesar's bringing hers. And Shantigo's in place in case things go nuts. And that is it so far. We've got an Oath Knight working his way through. Alicia's working her way through. Okay, any tapping? Ah, there's another tapping noise. It's over here. What's it going to be? You? Wandering? Wandering? Right there. No. You? No. I heard a tap, but I don't see it. Is it over here? Nope, I don't know what that was. Okay. Boomlopes, how you doing? One's left over here. I could get them. Milk fullness and moving. Okay, moving is good. Two over here? Nope, just one there. There's one and there's one. They're on their way. They're, the Boomalopes are on the move. Okay, that sounds like a good title for an episode. You know, it's hard coming up with titles for these episodes. It really is. Most of my series, I just call them Episode 1, Episode 2. This series, I decided to title everything. Because it's kind of hard to know... Did I watch episode 147, or was that 143 I was on last? So, yeah, I figured I'd better put titles in this one if it's going to go so long. But it is hard coming up with something that's interesting enough. You guys are doing what now? Moving into place. David, what are you doing down here? You are so out of the dog zone. Animals. Dog zone. Why is David down here? I shut down. Actually, I should shut down this area, too. I wonder if they'll try to go through here to get into... Eh, I don't think so. Well, we'll just have to keep an eye on them. If we lose a dog or two, well, it'll be a shame, but we've got 20 of them. <laughs> We're feeding 20 of them. <laughs> Alright, so you guys are behaving. You seem to be. That was quite the decisive uh, slamming down of the... Uh, of the turret there and sea stars is hauling ibex doe to hunting freezer no 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 so question is 
Um, let's look at the conduit in this area again. Um, actually, what am I seeing here? Standing lamp. Who? Sea Star Shantigo. Uh, gnarly. Gnarly, get back here. I need you to do that. That. Conduit. I think that's the one you did. Conduit. Conduit. There. There. And that's done. And Diamond, did you make it yet? You're still on your way. I have to remember that you're you're coming so that I can get you to do that. So you're going to do that. George, you're in position because if I didn't do something with you, you'd wander through somewhere and, and uh, get yourself in trouble. I still don't know really what to do with you. I'm not sure. Well, let's put the melee crowd over here. Let's do that. Sea Stars, what do we do with you now? Um, needs, you're fine. You're ready to do something. I just don't know what that something is. Don't know. I do know that if they breach this wall or door, we could run through, open up this one, and turn on that turret and see if any of them takes the pathway up. Everything, there's nothing here has been built and there's no door, so that's kind of out. Though I guess we could let them wander through and head up into here, but still there's no turret there. So no advantage there. But if they breach this, or... I guess that's really it. Anywhere, anywhere in this line, then we've got something we can do with them. But everybody else here looks contained, except for these little guys. They're going to not be noticed. They look like rubble. And you, can, you know how fast they'll be through this. All right, so we've been down here long enough. Anybody needing to be tasered long distance from here? Nope. We're in, they're behaving down here. Oath Knight's getting into position, which is actually going to be right there yeah we'll go one more right there all right so who's heading into this area alicia is watching for targets okay alicia now if i do this can the boomlobes get in they can't hit that one they can't go through this they can't get through there or there so you can be unforbidden so that alicia you can position yourself right there and natalia yeah same thing yeah, because Oath and I can get through here. So, you're going to position yourself right there. Okay, that worked. Now, do we still have a... Where am I? Right there. Faith is in place. She's not uh, giving up on me yet. And up in here, Kaya's still in place and hasn't given up yet. Okay. And otherwise, we've got people crowded at the dinner tables and they're starting to make their way through the base there's a crowd of them heading down over here we've had a lot of probably dinners going on you harvey you are carrying a prepackaged meal times four. Oh, because we're no longer at jail here no where are you going with that you're going to cell nine okay oh we've ah We've released all of these to make them bedrooms. I guess I didn't need to do that. Let's not do that yet. I was going to... Oops. Not build copy. Let's try that again. You there. I was going to reassign all the rooms in the area so they had a place to sleep. But let's not do that just yet. Okay. You know, these, these guys right here. Because I'm just going to keep them drafted and use them until they start to break. Daniel's the only one so far, and he's dropping that off, and he's on his way. Okay, so Gnarly is building. Boom, 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 boom. Tell me that you're not going to fail. That's the worst part right here, because there's no steel in the area. Okay, you guys are all still behaving. Are you guys behaving? No tapping going on. You look like you're serious. No, you're wandering. You're wandering. It'd be great if you guys did not tap through any of these. Should I just zap one of these and let them do a little battle? It's 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 convenient. They can kind of subdue themselves, but it also uh, it would be so much more effective if we can be shooting them while they are doing that. If we can take if we can, you know, sanity last somebody right here and let a battle go on while these guys are all shooting into the middle, that would be ideal. That would be the perfect scenario for us. And if we have to, we could do that with 
just the one person at each gun and just make it work just to take advantage of it if we have to before they start you know busting through every wall in the in the joint so keep that one in mind otherwise gnarly is har uh, hauling marble blocks you need a meal okay so you draft grab a meal and then get back down to this area right alongside Shantigo. Okay. So George is over there. Tomasov's on his way. So we're going to get quite a few over in here. Let's think things through here a little bit. Who is moving through into where? Eric, you are moving the turret into place. And that should fire up immediately. There's power over there. Okay. Let's get the first wave of those coming in. Cyprian, you are melee. You're going over here next to George. And Michael, let's get you over here to be the other side of this one. And let's get Tomislav over here to the other side of... Think about that. Other side of this one. Oath Knight's going to run through and maybe he will be alongside this one. The other ones will all be in position to do that. Okay, so, so far so good. We're moving them into place and nobody is busting through. Step by step, frame by frame. <laughs> okay, so far so good. No tapping going on. You're spending a lot of time sitting here, though. You worry me. Ah, that was a tap. What kind of tap was that? That was over here? Or was that a turret dropping or was that no it wasn't it, was, it sounded like steel being put down I don't see anything okay people are moving around Cyprus going there Michael you are moving to oh I made you go there and go back I do the same with Tomislav I did darn I took some time away so you're going there you're going back Eric you that may, may have been you making that noise okay I need this turned off until I can control it. You're going to do that, and then what are you going to do? Needs, you don't need a meal. You just need to be contained, or you're going to go repair something in the middle of the, uh, of the battle scene here. So I guess I'm waiting for that. Okay, draft and put you where? <clears throat> And a lot of melee going on over there. Let's put all the melee over here. If we're going to move them in, it seems smart that we move them in as a, as, a, as a unit. Now, if I were to ask you to go here, what would you do? You're going to go there and down. You're going to do it the smart way. Cool. That doesn't always happen in RimWorld. All right, so you are there. You're there. The other two are heading there. You two are waiting. And so far, you guys are behaving. That's really weird. It's actually working the way I want it to. That's also rare to see in RimWorld. <laughs> Grandma's moving into place, which could very well be right here. Any reason to split you guys up? I kind of think so. I want to. Can I put you right here? I can. Oh, good. I thought the blueprint would block me. Now I need you there. I need somebody else right there. So three and and right there and right there. So one, two, three, four, five, and one person in the door. I need six people in this area and that preferably all have guns. Then you can shoot through. Then we need to get a runner <laughs> to run through, open the door, get back out. In which case, this could already be up and going, opened up and ready. It really could. Yeah, okay. Or I could just have... Tell you what, I could have a melee person run through, slide that door open, hit that door, and then hit this door and go back out. Yeah. The gun will shoot the first one that walks through the pathway here, which unfortunately is going to take cover from all of these rocks. But that will then get them moving. And those that, you know, we can open and close this door. Yeah, we'll see how that works. Okay, so that, that plan is starting to form. Radar's going to bed. Bliss is going to bed. Good, that worked out. And Eric's on his way, so who else is getting closer? Manuela, you are grabbing a meal. 
and then you are going to work your way over to here. And Radar, Tomislav, Michael, Billy, you work your way over into here. And Miss B, you are heading for, I think, here. And gnarly getting food and that is it in this area okay up in here daniel's getting food over in here faith is waiting diamond is bringing the uh, the steel for the backup plan alicia is in place eric is heading over there manuela is heading over there feels like we should have a lot more people here by now but i guess they're all still making their way in a lot of them were out you know, way out so and we're going to see this mental break list start to accumulate here because so many of them were pretty tired when this started. All right, so over here, it still feels like we're safe. Over here, any tapping? Uh, uh, there was a noise. It's like they're communicating, and there's a tap. Okay, you are tapping into there. That burns out George's room. And George's art. Hmm. Poor bed. George only got a poor bed? I never noticed that. Okay, we'll burn the room down. But it takes out the muffler leather armchair. Hmm. Do we... Do we nuke this guy? You are digging a granite wall to, to save the wall, to save the containment. Which will send them all into a frenzy. But it will buy us time. I think it will stop all of them from any tapping that they're just about to begin. Let's do it. Um, who needs to rest the soonest? Who hasn't given up? Kaya, you are going to need both soon. And Faith, right there, you're going to need to rest sooner. But you're already kind of here. Let's keep you here. What was that? You were harvesting corn plants, so you're still good for a little bit. Let's get Kaya done and head back into the base. You've got a gun, but I don't think we'll be using you. We'll see. Let's have you activate on Where am I? This guy. Alright. Which She's already there, but it's still a, a second or two before it, it triggers. We'll hear the noise. Then we'll see what all these guys will do. And we'll let Michael and Tomasov get into position. Then we'll open up some of the floodgates here and let her rip. Haven't heard it yet. You're at 87%. Oh, I, there it is. And you are berserk. You were attacking that one, which means their people have been attacked. You are attacking Mega Scarab. You are still wandering. When you're done, you will too. So that should take all of these guys, hopefully. Now they're all still wandering, and send them up into there. But I don't know if it's going to send these guys into a rage. It doesn't seem to. They seem to be contained. Okay. So over in here... More and more are attacking. Yep, they're all going to just have a little battle down here. Of course, it could be as soon as this battle is done, they're going to immediately start tapping away everything right here. So I don't know the route of the woods there. But we're still waiting for a few more people to get into place. There was still a tap. Where was that? You! No, 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 no. Well, you can dig at that granite. Yeah. But still, why aren't you doing what you're supposed to be doing? Boom, 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 boom. Unfortunately... The one that started it was a weak one, and he's already dead. That ended it. Merely attacking Standing Lab. Oh, they're all just going crazy right now. Okay, well. Yep. I guess we let her rip. Hmm. Has it been 45 minutes already? No way. Oh, who, who, who thumbs downed whom? Grandma. No. Jantigo slighted George. Mm-hmm. They just... Yeah, through the door, even. <laughs> okay. You guys are still calm, and you guys are going to go blitzoid here on me. So, who else is heading into the area? You're still trying to find that meal. 
Klaus, you're still eating. I can't re you at all yet. Okay. Well, I can say once you're done with there, you can go here. That would work. Sanger, are you in place? You are. So you're going here. And Tomislav's heading for there. Where did Michael go? He's on his way. He's almost there. Is it time to let this thing loose? I think it is. So that we can somewhat contain all this. Do we have a boom up in the area? Ah, we got him to here. There's one, two, three, four. So they're probably going to get to the party too late. It's, in fact, maybe we need to think about boom up quarters in the taco bar. Hate to do that to you, Diamond and Daniel, but that might be a, a more realistic use of this space. boom up barn, lots of hay storage, so that they can respond to the place that is most likely to become infested before the infestation has already been taken care of and they finally arrive. Yeah, I think that's what we did the last time. We had sent them to an infestation at one point and they never even got close. I think we did that earlier on in the series once. But, hmm, okay. So, if we let this loose now, Tom Sob will eventually get there. Michael will eventually get there. But if we get the walking and the switching and the triggering going on. So let's think about that. Although you are doing what? You're going after a standing lamp. And you are going after a granite wall. And I don't know which one. Okay. Yeah. You need to be turned on. Sangria, you need to turn it on. I'm a little worried about letting these guys do their doors yet. Will they immediately be attacked? Hmm. Well, I guess we're going to have to find out. David, I need you, first of all, to unforbid and hold open. I need you to unforbid and hold open. I need... Daniel, to hit that, and then go, if I say go here, do you have any other route to travel? Do I have to designate? I don't think I have to. I'm just debating now whether this door should be open. I think it has to be. I think we're going to have to sacrifice these two rather than have someone standing there shooting them as they come in because it's going to happen too quick. So, yeah, that has to stay open. But so, David, let's have you go here. And once you get there, I'll have you flick the switch. Oath Knight, you're going to travel to here, and then you are going to go to here and flick the switch. Okay. The only question is whether or not they're going to get bit while they're doing that job. So we're going to take this frame by frame. But what's happening over here while we're doing this? You guys are all... You are wandering. Okay. Let's send somebody through right now and get this going. You're functioning again. Let's send... Who's my fastest runner here? 3.4. Cyprian. 3.4. Billy. 3.4. I know they all run faster than that. So being in the dark must be a factor in here. Something that's not displayed. Because that's odd that they're all like that. But let's just grab... Actually, who has the best in needs? Billy's looking pretty good. All the melee guys are in great shape. <laughs> I just wish they had pistols on them. Billy, you're up. You're up. I want you to run to here. And then go through here and run up to here. Actually, from there, I want you to go out, and then I want you to go back to there. Okay. I need this to not hold open, but I need this to hold open. And then, at some point, I'll try to stop you and have you flick that switch. In fact, I should do that. Billy, instead, cancel all that. You're going to go to here. <clears throat> You're going to go to here, there, there, and hold. I'll have you flick the switch. Okay, so we're going to get that opened up. 
No, the preparation was to... Hmm... I need this guy to be open so they can come through. But I don't want to do that with the turret on, or he'll shoot that person opening it when it sees this one right here. That's... But we'll get the other doors in place. We'll be, I have to send a second runner to finish this. Okay, we'll do that in two phases. So that's what's going on over there. We know what's about to happen over here. I just don't know. You're attacking... Which granite wall? You're still getting there. Hopefully it's that one, because it cannot move diagonal. No, oh, you're hitting out this one. All right, so what is going to happen here? Sangria, your place... Oh, you flick the switch. Power's coming on. Draft, you're going right there. And eventually you will open this up and shoot through here as well. All right, is this guy going to nail David or Oath Knight? Or is he going to continue to work on this? There's still 75, 74% of its, of its uh, hit points left. So it's going to take a few more bites. He, he may not go after anybody else until he's finished with that. I'm hoping. What are you doing? You are attacking a granite door. You're going after a granite wall. You're going after a granite door. You're going after a... You're standing. <laughs> you going after a wall. Okay. Now, David, if I were to break that and send you to here, would you have to complete the, the path? You will. Okay, I'm going to try that again with you anyway. Do that, and you're going to go here. That's what I was worried about. Yeah. Stand down. Do not fire at will. Oh. Hit them. Alerted them. They're not out of there yet. I didn't think about bullets. I was thinking, you know, turrets. We'll flick the switches when we're ready. But we have unswitched... Um, we have switched on gunners in the room. What are you going to do? You are melee attacking Oath Knight. Oath Knight, get your took us out of there. Go, go, go. And David, you get out of there. And Natalia... All right, you're there. What was that last thing? Someone banged on a door here. All right, well, we see what's going on there. I don't think I want to open this door yet. Not until they've all chosen one route or the other. Okay, so with that going on, did anything change over here? Yes. Diamond, uh, I can't have you do anything yet. i got to remember to get back to you. Otherwise, you're all still just wandering and peaceful and, and just happy, lazy critters. Okay. Billy's making his run. All right. But over here, you're going after Oath Knight. And it sounds worse than it is. Are you attacking down there? You are attacking down there. Okay. So let's time this well. You're heading up. You're going after that vent, aren't you? Yep. You're about to get through. And... Oh, Tomislav arrived. <laughs> okay. I think we're close enough. Natalia, let him have it. And Alicia, the door didn't open. By not having him go through it, it didn't work. Alicia, hold your fire. David, you have to do it again. You have to go all the way there and back, unfortunately. There and there. Which means this door may close too. Okay. I thought I could shortcut it, but it didn't seem to work. Okay, good shot, Tomislav. And another good shot, Natalia. Hit Oath Knight. Ouch! Oath Knight, what'd you get? You got a torso and right lung. No immediate danger. You're fine. Just a just a little nick to the lung. No problem. David, you're going to have to turn around, unfortunately. Are all these guys going to head into this room? Oath Knight, you're heading for here. And flicking this switch. Undraft, flick, and there may not be enough time. We'll see how this goes. We need all these guys to shoot this one with all they've got. Get up there and flick the switch, and it's, there's not enough time. Okay, so got to get Natalia out of there. Let's unforbid. Yeah, I'd say so. Unforbid. That's not it. Let's get Natalia out to here and let's get Tomislav 
Well, David, you flick the switch. Let's get you out to here. All right, not David, Oath Knight. Um, Tomislav, let's get you out to there. You guys can shoot through. Natalia's going to run. David got that open. They're going to come after him next. That probably already shot through, huh? So, David, you are now going to run to here and get that. Actually, right now, Alicia, you do it. You're, yeah, that'll be fine. Let's get you to flick the switch. Michael, go for it. David's got a shield. Tomasov, you got to get going. You're too busy sliding somebody to... to who was it that slided over there? Shantigo that slided George or something over there? Shantigo, who are you? Uh, who are you? Are you you're sliding the, uh, the 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 mega spider, aren't you? I'm sure that's it. Okay, so yeah, uh huh. So David's running back. Alicia's flicking the switch. It's on now. Alicia is now going to get back over here to shoot through. Michael is fire at will. Alicia is fire at will. David is going to get the heck out of there and be done. They're going to shoot the... Did I not tell the door to hold open? <sighs> Apparently I never triggered that. Okay. David, can you um you know, do that again? Who are you going after? You're fleeing. Oh, cool. I like fleeing. Tomasov, you got to get out of there. Who's up here? Is there somebody... Is there a bug up there already? Hmm. Okay. So that's going on there. You guys are going to get out, hopefully. Hopefully a bug doesn't get out there and this guy starts shooting through. You are melee attacking a vent. The vent is 77%. I think we got to take this one down. I think we do. Let's... Um, unforbid. Let's send Klaus... Through, and then to here. And that should give the turret, Sangria, and Klaus a chance to shoot through it. Alright, David is going to open this for real this time. They're all going to shoot David. He does have a shield on. He should be okay. And this never really turned on, did it? I mean, I've been freeze-framing, but still, he's moved back and forth enough times that turret should have happened. What is with the turret? What am I missing here? Um, do we not truly have power here? We we do have power down this leg and in. Turret is green. It's a lot. No, don't do that. It's live. It's just a long timer to get it to, to trigger. Okay. So, David, you... Yeah, you need to go this way. So, after that, you're going here and out. Hopefully that works. You're 98 of 98 still charge on your on your shield. Oh, whoever shot that one, good job. That was Michael. Multiple shots, whereas Alicia had one. So she was one of those shots and and revolver, revolver. Someone else got a revolver. It looked like multiple shots just pounded in. But I guess not. Although maybe the assault rifle was the antenna shot off. Okay, so that's there. These guys have got to get through. I'm a little worried about Oath Knight here. I think he's going to get munched on for, for a while. He got hit with a revolver, revolver. He got hit with a mega spider and a mega spider. And he's got death in 20 hours. Man, Oath Knight, get moving. And... Over here, we're okay. We are going to bust into Cyprian's room, although this may stop that. Klaus, you're moving in. And we're shooting through. Shooting through. Oath Knight, the door's open. Get through, and I think you're alive. Okay, you made it. And with that, I think you need to get to the hospital. Um, death in 20 hours. Yeah, but let's get you through the door first. If I send you that way right now, you may pause and think about things. David is through door is open. Now they have a pathway into here. This door is going to close after this round. You stopped. You're going after the turret. You're not going after the vent anymore. Good. So we'll keep that barrier up a little bit longer. And this is going to be live and they're going to uh, tap at it and shoot and shoot and boom. So that'll take care of that group. 
This group is still safe. Over here, um, Diamond, that's who I forgot. Diamond, no! Don't go clean the slime! Diamond, get back up here. Get back up here. I need you to get back up here really quick. Go, 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 go. <laughs> I must clean. Klaus, you're heading back out. Okay. You guys are through. The door is closing. The switch. No, that's just a bug tail. There's no damage to the switch. Okay. <clears throat> So you're fine there, and this is going to do the work. This is going to probably shoot Oath Knight one more time. Can you go that way? And Tomislav, oh, we'll just hope that you're okay. Okay. Klaus got bit. He did. Oath Knight, I need you to break, and you are going to a hospital bed. Let's take you back to prisoner and try you one more time. Oath Knight, you're now going to this hospital bed. Good. We'll get somebody over there to heal you real soon. We've got to put you in a surgery. Okay, I am at an hour so far. Um, where and when do we cut this thing? Cause we're we're barely halfway through. Ting. Yep, yep. Hit my vent one more time. Um, you're gonna go through there, Klaus. What happened to you? Health. Yeah, these guys are efficient. Cut. Burn. Oh, it's burned scar. Cut scar. Okay, so these don't count. So you got a cut and a crack from a spilipede claws. Uh, right arm, right radius. All right. Oath Knight, what was your damage, by the way? You got your left thumb has been bitten off. Ouch. Right leg, cut mega spider, bite mega spider. So you're going to be limping now. Rib, crack mega spider. And then you got shot twice in the lungs. <laughs> You'll be fine. So you guys are all crowding into here. You are doing what? You're attacking improvised turret. So are you? You're attacking Klaus. You are attacking Klaus. These guys are gotta you gotta get through there. That door will close. They'll find another target probably over here, which means we gotta get them out. Enough time to open this back up again. But this is still gonna be active and shooting, so it may haul them that way. This is this is all quite fluid. It could go anywhere. And you guys Diamond is leaving and you guys still don't know notice her yet it is dark <clears throat> so maybe that's the the helper but diamond once you get through i need you to build all of this so we can turn this guy on because he uh, let's answer that question we had before we know we have power out here there and there so can i get you to tap that far away want to here nope there ah did that grab power we went to this spot there's nothing in that spot. Yes, it is the first live one. Okay, so it can grab power there. Question is whether or not I'd want to try to grab power, like, here. I don't know. Building this will give us that option. At least, I'm not sure if you can grab, uh, grab power through a wall. I don't remember. Hmm, I, I was thinking I could look up things like, you know... Unfortunately, I've gone through and reset most of these little extension cords. But yeah, there we go. This can't... Well, this is... No, this is in this room. Okay. Are there any extension cords that actually go through a room into another room? That goes through... I can barely see it. That goes through that vent, through the hallway, through that vent, and taps this wall. So yeah, it looks like they can cross through walls to get there. Which means we get this live right... What happened there? Interesting. We gotta do something about that. Um, if we can get, where am I at? Here, if we can get this alive to here. We may be able to put that guy here and have it cross through and grab power right there, which gives us a line of sight into here and a shot into here at the same time. And this guy opened. What happened to Billy? Apparently, I said that wrong again. All right, so Billy. You are safe. Safe enough. Let's do that. Billy, break. Click that switch. Remember, Billy's there. Let's go another frame or two here. That door. Okay, we shot there. They're all going to turn around and fight this guy. Boomalopes. 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 Pathway 
to get to here now is what? It's right here. Because that's now open. And the pathway is right here. I don't know that they're going to track this pathway anymore. We'll see. First Boomalope is where? They crossed the river at this side. They're coming down this way. It means they're going to cross through the, the, the closest uh, route. Are those the first two or the last two? They're the last two. We have one right here. We have one over here. Unfortunately, I can't see their path to know which way they're going. Got to remember they're coming. Okay. It, it's going to be too late for them, but now yeah, we get it most of the way there. At least you can get a visual of what the plan was going to be. And then, yeah, I think that's the Moomalo Barn. That just makes logical sense. Okay, so another couple of minutes we got to call this one done. Because this is going to take forever to render. So you're stepping through. You guys are still shooting through. You're going to trigger this guy here real soon. You're going that way. Klaus got bit again by the second one that was after him. He just got a right leg, right arm problem. Okay, that's all still doable. Didn't lose any parts. David, you need a meal. So let's send you, before I forget, off into here. Um, let's draft you. Grab a meal and then get back into this area in case it actually does happen. Um, look, I'm thinking next episode is going to focus a lot right over here and these guys building up. Now, did I ever release Kaya? I didn't release Kaya. You need to... No, don't go repair. <laughs> go grab a meal somewhere. Come on over to this side. It's a little safer over here. And come and grab that meal and we'll try to figure out what to do with you. Otherwise, wrapping this guy up for this episode... What else is actually happening here? Timer? We haven't checked that. Two days, five hours. Okay. So we got a couple days before the uh, the timer goes off for our next round. We should be fine. Hitting here. What hit you? Revolvers and turrets. Somebody got one last shot in before that door closed. Cool. Natalia, you are next. Let's put you there. And try to remember that you're there. But I think you can do some good in there. Yeah. For that matter, should I get a second person in there? That's a good idea. Huh. Gotta remember that. It doesn't do any good down here, and we're still contained down here. Good. Did they ever breach? They never did. We distracted them quick enough. They have they busted up things, so they have not actually gotten through. Good. We haven't lost anything yet. Hmm. Another reason to not use the boomalopes and light this whole place on fire. We actually can recover this so far. But let's get Klaus out of here and not shot. You just took a shot. Thank you. You're all shooting through. Got you. Another shot. That was a that was an Alicia boom. Got him. And David's heading out. Klaus is still trying to figure out how to get through that door. He's trying. And hits you. They're not going to get through. I believe the door will will keep them from going through. Tomislav, Oath Knight, you're getting out of here. Tomislav, nothing more I can do with you right now. Yeah, you are standing. You are fleeing. You are attacking an improvised turret. Okay. You are also taking out that turret. Natalia is going to get her shot up in here real quick. Are you guys going to get a second round on Klaus? Is what I want to know. You're heading up. You want to take a bite out of Klaus too. And you took a shot from a turret and you said, hey, and you're going to turn around and come back this way here real soon. Klaus, get through the door. <laughs> Hashtag. <laughs> okay, I thought you were going through that door. You're not. Let's just, for, for fun, shut that down. Okay. Boom loops. There. Soon I'm going to have to forbid these doors and get the boom loops at least on a new pathway. And then I can open them up again. But so far, nobody's going after these two over here. All right. Is there anything else to do with Tomislav? Hmm. You know, I think that's a good question for next time. I think this would be a safe place to, to call this one done. 
go I want to go through the list reevaluate where everybody is I haven't even been thinking about minor break it's just still just Daniel okay good so we're, we're not cracking and going crazy out here good good to see that but I need to see where everybody is reevaluate one more time the best tactics with them maybe if you guys can think of what else can we do with these guys we're still collecting all of our melee into one place oh diamond you're done diamond undo go here but give me some strategy for the melee people if there's anything that they can do I kind of doubt there is diamond when you're done with that needs you can jump in and help but if I don't assign you to go do something you're going to go down there and clean, clean slime again so I need to figure out what to do with you to remind me that you're there so let's have you do what pop over here and clean this one when I see you moving through next time hopefully I'll notice it and I'll do something about it in fact let's have you then do another thing so just keep you walking back and forth so that I can see you and say oh that's right diamonds here I don't see any more dirt dang it you're keeping the place too clean all the dirt is out in here there's some right there no what else is there for a diamond to do it's all clean. Wow, oh, there's some right there. You can go for that one next. And I'll be checking folks in the hospital by then. So I'll see you there if I don't see you here, if I don't see you here. Okay, so that's Diamond taken care of. But I need to go through, just like Diamond, each one of these and figure out what they're supposed to be doing that I have forgotten about. Or, you know, like, whatever happened to Billy? Did he get through? Is he safe? He, he's, he's leaving. So he's making a sculpture. Yeah, I gotta round up all these 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 worms that have gotten out of the can and figure out uh, our strategy for next time. So it's been Noble Rambler. Leave me some thoughts, and I'll catch you later. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.